Looking to trade your old bulk for some of the latest Pokemon booster boxes? Well, check ccgcastle.com. The process is very simple. Send in 1400 cards and get a brand new sealed booster box back. We ship boxes worldwide for free once we get your cards. Make sure to check video description or check ccgcastle.com for more information. How's it going, Poké fans? Welcome back to Pokémon TCG Center. In today's video, I have something um, again interesting to show you up. This is the deck list that I built together with my friend. We use this. Uh, actually, my friend used this build in the experiment format. Uh, he finished on the third or fourth place. Not sure. Um, he didn't lose a single game with this build. So basically, he won first two games. Then the round number three, he drove with me. Um, I played Espion Garbodor deck. And the game number four, he also drove, but uh, if there was more time, he would won definitely the game number four. But uh, game number three versus me, he would probably lose because he only uh, stayed with two Tapu Lelis and one Oranguru on his bench without attackers. Where on the other side, I was like down to four prize cards with uh, Garbodor in the active position, Garbodor on the bench. And he had like 15 item cards in his disco pile or something like that. So the main strategy of this build is to set up either way Garbodor or Zorg. But both of them should definitely be great if you can set up. And uh, to try to avoid your opponent taking a prize uh, after he just managed to knock out one of your Pokemons because you have Live Dew available. And that's it. That's the part of the strategy. After you use your life due, after it's discarded, you can simply recycle it back with the puzzle of time and you can play it once again. So 17 Pokemon, 35 trainer cards and 8 energies in this build. All energies in this deck are just special energies. So in case you play against Giratina, you definitely need something like a... Pokemon Ranger, but uh, we knew that we were not going to play against any Giratina in that tournament, so that's the reason why we simply decided not to take Pokemon Ranger. So, what's the uh, what's the lineup of the Pokemon? So, we have one copy of Oranguru with the Instruct. Oranguru can also be good with the Puzzle of Time, trust me, that's pretty cool. On the other side, there's two uh, Tapu Lelis for the Wonder Tag and Supporter Surge, and more than that, 3 3 2 line of the Zoroark, but there is... Um, there's also um, one one interesting thing that we actually. Oh, give me a second. We actually later add up uh, one Zorark with the um, nasty plot. So, or actually full play, whatever you want to call it. Um, that was the card that actually helped us a lot because I didn't have a third Zorark. And I decided to um, take one of the one of these Zorks with the full play from the black and white because with the double cores energy you can just copy your opponent attack even on the turn one. So that was pretty cool because we was expecting to play against Lapras and uh, Evil Tall and uh, against those two decks you can just simply top a little turn one with the Wally -E, Wally -E into the Zorok full play for like 160 for example. Or maybe even more with a full play and double cores energy attached to the Zora Corn. Or you can maybe just Y Cyclone for like 90 and swap that double cores energy to your bench at Pokemon. Um, one, uh, two copies of Zora Break also with a full play. The same thing will apply for um, for this one, but just with uh, Darkness energy. Two Tapolelas, as I mentioned, it, uh, three Trabish, uh, one Garbodor uh, with a Garbotoxin, and two Garbodors with the Trash Alange for that powerful. 20 times the each item card in your opponent disco pile. More than that, what we can find in this deck list is one very interesting um, tech card. So I told him, well, if you play Zork, it's the expanded format, plenty of people will play Jirachis and Shamins and stuff like that. Why not to just simply tech captivating Pokepop? Because if you play Tapu Lele and if you play Skyla, it's pretty cool to have option to just simply Tapu Lele for Skyla, grabbing a captivating Pokepuff you go first and uh, set up your report in Shamus on the bench. I mean, that's just insanely strong. Also, there is one copy of Escape Probe, um, one copy of Rescue Stretcher, one copy of Special Charge, very important to recycle those energies, one Super Road, and of course, uh, four copies of Puzzle of Time, so we can just play two of them at the same time and be able to grab... Um, any two cards from a disco pile or simply rearrange top three cards and then just instruct. Uh, more than that, as you can see, this list contained four copies of Ultra Ball and only three copies of V-Seeker. That's the reason why we had four pieces of puzzles, so there is not, not too many 
um, worry about not being able to play supporter card because you can also play two piece of, uh, a piece of puzzles at the same time and you can also grab supporter card if you want. Um, stadium decision was of course Altar of the Moon for the free retreat and more than that there was uh, a lot of different supporter cards so the first one was of course Bridget for the third one setup the second one was the Hex Maniac the third one was a Karen mainly because Karen can just simply shuffle all of your opponent Pokemons um, but also your Pokemons from uh, this compiled back uh, into the deck. I decided to go with Oricorio, he decided to go with the Karen, so that's the reason why I just took the Karen here. Um, also, one copy of Lysander, three ends, one Kukui for extra 20, and four copies of Pro and three copies of Professor Sycamore, featuring one Skyla and one Wally for that rapid evolution turn one. Um, as you can see, tool cards, only one floatstone, but that's the reason why we really don't need floatstone, too many floatstones, because we have also escape rope in this build, plus you can also retreat as long as you have rainbow energy and altar of the moon for free. Of course, none of these Pokemons expect for the Garbodor uh, will have um, 3 retreat cost. Um, yeah, uh, th th this live view was a special card in this build, it helped a lot, because mainly uh, when opponent one hit knock of your Pokemon, if it's just, for example, Trash Lange Garbodor, <laughs> you can just smile to your opponent's face and say, hey, mate, you cannot take a prize card because I have Live Dew. Look at this, I can play two puzzle of times and I can again grab Live Dew and put it back to my active Pokemon and you again can't pull a prize card if you knock out my Pokemon, so that's just completely troll. And of course, two copies of Muscle Bands for extra 20 damage counters to all Pokemon, so it will go to the... Um, Zorark, Zorark Break, Tapu Lele, Garbodor, even for the Garbatoxin will work just fine, and also for the Oranguru in, in case if we need it. And of course, 8 energies for them wars, um, double cores, and 4 rainbow energies. Overall, the decklist is just pretty cool. I kind of like it. Um, we tried to build something original, and we both actually end up that tournament without a loss, so we can definitely say that um, those decks are actually very successful. If you're looking for any of these cards, make sure to check ccgcastle.com. You can check the link in my video description. Um, you can also trade your bulk for some of the latest um, booster boxes that, that, that can be found on the market. Everything you need to know can be provided in my video description, so make sure to check that. Right now I'm going to play one game with this build just to show you how it works and how beautiful it is to play with it in the expanded format. Make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Also let me know in the comments below what you think about this build. Was it original? Was it better than the boring old board um, Evil Tall Dark Ray deck and the stuff like that? I'm just looking forward to see. Uh, what you guys will say to it. So, see you in the game. Alright, so I'm starting first. Taking a closer look to my opening hand, there is only one copy of Zerua, but the good thing is that I have Bridget available. And that Bridget Turn one is always very broken. I'm gonna set up line of my Zerua, um, Trabish, and uh, of course Oranguru. And more than that, also one piece of puzzle can be played. Oh, no way. Top deck, puzzle of time. Ultra Ball, Sycamore, puzzle of time. I'm thinking definitely about playing that Ultra Ball. Um, but for now, it's just time to pass my turn back to my opponent. Okay, let's see what he's capable to do here on his turn one. Maybe Archie Blastoise? I think that's definitely possible, and I think how I'm possibly gonna see that. So this is the Ultra Ball for one Choice Band and one Water Energy. There we go with one Glaceon. Battle Compressor, alright. So far, so good. Two more energies to be discarded. One shame in setup play. And one Max Elixir. So what can he do here with the Max Elixir? He can attach one energy down to his Glaceon. And there we go with the end. So, looks like I just lost one of my puzzle of times. 
that's just okay. I'm not gonna complain. It is how it is. Whew. But this hand looks just as a disaster. Aqua Patch for second energy and my turn. Well, let's just do something like this. One, two, three, four, five. He have five item cards in his disco pile. But on the other side, yeah, I need floatstone. Let's let's just gamble and let's see if we can find Zorark with the stand-in. Um, no sign of it, but at least there's the one with the fall play. And actually, the one with the fall play might be even better, to be honest. I can fall play Keldio for 50, so I'm happy with that. No shaming, no sign of um, drop support, so I'm just gonna keep my Ultra Balls for now and uh, let my opponent to you know, play as many water energies as he can. So there is one copy of Professor's Kukui, so theoretically if he can find Muscle Band, he can strike hard, but looks like that's not gonna happen. So I'm thinking about playing one Ultra Ball right now. And that Ultra Ball should be for Tapu Lele Lysander play. That is for sure. Or maybe not. I mean, if I play escape rope, what my opponent can. Yeah, I mean, I can instruct, so why not to try that? Okay. So... I'm actually happy at the end with that mode, to be honest. I'm just gonna trash a lunge for like 120. Next turn I have enough with just a single double course energy for the knockout against his Glacian with my Tapulele. And I feel how this is going to be pretty good play. Pretty damn good play. Okay, so at the end, my opponent decided to end me. And Crystal Ray for like a 70. I'm gonna play one Captivating Pokepuff, but before I do that, I really want to get rid of some of the cards from my hand, as many as I can. So definitely time for the Pokepuff. Well, there's a one Mana Fee, look at this. He had one Mana Fee available. Um, puzzle of Time, ooh, there we go with the Float Stone, so that's pretty cool play. Um, double Cores Energy. Oranguru Instruct, so what I can do here is I can grab the Float Stone, put it down to my Garbodor, a Retreat, back to my Tapulele, play one Hex Maniac, I don't see reason why I wouldn't do that, and Energy Drive for the Knockout, so that's the 100 damage counters, in total 220, so I managed to avoid Glaceon, but he decided to concede, so let's do one more game. Alright, so I'm ready for the game number two. Let's take a look at the opening hand. Can I finally open with 
Bridget and basic Pokemon? Well, it looks like I can't. There's a Bridget but no sign of the basic Pokemon. Alright, so there we go. Zerua and Oranguru, but more than that, nothing else. Alright. I mean, there is a Rua with Ascension that you can use basically to evolve um, as the part of the attack. But unfortunately, I'm not running that type of the Zerua. Oh, okay. Okay. At least I managed to top deck. Pretty sweet card. It's a N. So I can refresh my hand, grab six new cards. And hope to find maybe something better, but so far nothing good. Which means I'm gonna play my puzzle of time to see the next three cards. Well, there is Professor Skukui. I guess this one makes a lot of sense. More than that, passing my turn and hoping that my opponent will probably put another basic Pokemon on his bench. So far he only had the Cosmium and one Bronzor, but... Oh, there we go, there is one copy of Cobalion. Okay, so I can strike for like 70 and with Kukui for 90 with the Mind Jack, which is gonna be very important. It's very, very important to get Nagar against his Cosmium. I mean, Bronzor is not a big deal. I was also thinking about maybe playing that escape probe. Oh, also second energy attached. All right. Oh, but he can teleport. All right, down to Cobalion. Well, at least I can max out one Pokemon this turn. That's going to be something. I guess it's better than nothing, that's for sure. So that's going to be the knockout against his Bronzor. I can probably even expect knockout maybe next turn, so I really need to be very careful here um, with my resources. So that's the reason why I also decided to um, put my Floatstone down to the Oranguru instead of the um, Zorak, because if he can find possibly, let's say, um, Solgaleo, he can easily knock out my um, Zorak. But in order to do that, he definitely needs to discard some of the um, energy cards. There is one copy of Ultra Ball, and that Ultra Ball will be for Solgaleo GX, as I mentioned it. Alright, at least I have VS Seeker, so I'm definitely gonna play my VS Seeker for N. So far, not too many item cards in his discard pile as well. Only f only two item cards, that's like 40 damage counters with my um, Garbodor, but Solgaleo is actually resistance minus 20, so yeah, there's a there's few different options, of course. I'm going to end my opponent, but I can also go with V Seeker for Kukui and hope to pull maybe something like Ultra Ball. Um, I mean, Zorak breaking this matchup will be so damn good because of the Soul Burst, but also uh, for the uh, Sunsteel Strike. Ooh, interesting. I top deck Sycamore, so it's a little bit better to play that Sycamore, to be honest. Well, Ultra Ball for sure. Ultra Ball for sure. And it's gonna go for another Zerua. And... I will retreat. Down to Oranguru. I can do that for free and more than that for now I'm just gonna pass my turn I'm gonna surprise my opponent next turn with my Zora break fall play for like 230 possibly maybe even for 250 if I can find something like a muscle band it's not that hard that's for sure so let's just be patient and see what my opponent is capable to do of course if he can find Psychic or Darkness Energy, he can have Free Retreat with Cobalion, but I'm 100% I'm, I'm, I'm positive that he don't have any of these two. But on the other side, he can always just Ultra Rod 
and that's like a stand-in basically he can just put his Solgaleo in the front instead of the Cobalion. All right, there is one Bronzor. And he definitely decided to go with the Ultra Rod in the front. All right, let's see what's the next move. Solpers GX, thumbs up. Thumbs up for my opponent. Plenty of energies to be attached. Of course, I also need to be very careful about the Revenge Blast. Next turn, the Revenge Blast will go for like 120. Still will not be enough for the knockout. But hey, 120, I mean... What are we talking about? Um, let's first see what we can find with... Puzzle of Time. Just a Puzzle of Time as a top deck. Um, okay. Okay, I will instruct for one, so I can save that double core's energy and attach it. After that, I will just play my V Seeker, which is going to be for Kukui. And with that Kukui, I can as well add 20 more damage counters, but more than that, I can also Ultra Ball. And I can Ultra Ball for another Zorark. which I can't put this turn in play. All right. Never mind for that. Better to evolve in case of the end. Full play. And Sunsteel Strike for 250. I mean, yeah, I need to discard my energies. It's a, it's a, it's definitely a um, very expensive price, but hey, I mean, it's not a big deal. Definitely it's not a big deal. I mean, I managed to knock out his Hogaleo. It's 250 HP Pokemon. And the best thing is that he have um, two price card rules. So I'm down to three price cards. And I even managed to top deck from the price cards my Rainbow Energy and Muscle Bandit. Of course, this is going to be one copy of him. But as long as I have an Orangura in play, I don't need to be um, in a position to worry about being uh, end. And so um, there we go. There is one Bronzong. And well, there might be um, hmm, Laurentis for that. Maybe even Knockout. Who knows? We shall see. At least for the next turn, I can just attack either way with the Mind Jack. Mind Jack will be enough, that's for sure. Um, he decided to retreat down to Cobalion, so he can at least try to Quick Guard, maybe even Revenge Blast. Well, there is one Metalinx. I have Puzzle of Time, so in this case, I can definitely benefit if I can take something like a V Seeker for Lysander play. Quick Guard is not going to be that effective, that's for sure. Um, there is Trabish, so that's kind of nice. Special Charge for two energies to be recycled. And then it's time to play my Puzzle of Time. Well, Ultra Ball. N. And Double Core's Energy. Well, right now with the Mind Jack, I can't strike for too much. I also can't retreat. Escape Rope is in my disco pile, as well as four puzzles. So I don't have another option here. Well, then maybe just instruct for two and maybe tries to find... Well, Rainbow Energy will not help a lot. That's for sure. So let's just instruct. And Ultra Ball for another Zorark break, so I can have another one set up and ready to go. I mean, I already have the one with the full play, but still, I mean, you know, being able to strike for like um, two different energies, it's always good. I mean, in case if I don't pull a Rainbow Energy, but if I pull a double chorus energy I can use full play. So I have two different energies in my deck, the rainbow and the darkness energy and the double chorus energy and with both energies I can just attack. And there we go with another end. So at least I'm gonna draw um, three fresh cards. There is, oh, there's finally something good, Captivating Pokepuff. 
Of course, he really wanted to limit his bench space, but right now with the captivating Pokebuff I have plenty of different options available, but no, he decided to concede. Well, probably he just draw very bad and that's the GG. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, little video show off of this um, beautiful deck for the expanded format. Make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Let me know also what you think in the comments below about this build. Unfortunately, these days nobody plays expanded format and that's the reason why I simply can't record too long good gameplays um, with this build. But hey, make sure to check it, make sure to try it, make sure to import it in the TCGO or actually in the real life and see how it will serve you because I really like it and it's very funny to play. So, till the next time, have a nice day wherever you are. We'll see you in the next video. So, have a nice day and goodbye.